All right, now we have completed our calculator. So the only way that we really know how to use this is to go to build and execute program. So we have our nice little calculator. So what if we wanted to share this with somebody? What if we wanted to give someone else the ability to use our calculator? One simple way to share our software is to do this. I'm going to go into the home directory and actually I can close kdevelop. I no longer need this. Inside the home directory we have the directory that holds all of our data files. So if I were to open this we have our source directory which has all of our source code in it, our GUI and all that stuff. It also does come with a bunch of files that kdevelop makes for us. So I'm going to go up a directory and I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to compress it. And I'm going to compress it as calc.tar.gz and then left click and now it's going to compress it. Now my file is ready for sharing so I'm going to cut this and paste it on my desktop. So I can send this, to, this file to my friend with instructions on how to install it. So I'm going to show you how to install this now. So if you decided to zip this and send this to your friend, you could tell them this is how you can do it. Open up a command terminal. And first thing that we're going to do is travel to the desktop, which is where the file is. So we're going to do a PWD. This is going to see where we are. So we're in the home slash user. So we can do CD space desktop. And then uh, run a DIR. And here we have this, calc.tar.gz. Okay, so now we can type this command. T-A-R space X-Z-F space calc.tar.gz. Press enter. It doesn't look like it did anything, but what if we do another D-I-R? There's a directory now called calc. So now what we're going to do is do CD space calc. Now that we're in the calc directory, there's three commands that we have to run. And I'm going to clear the screen here real quick. So we're in the calc directory. The first thing that we run is dot forward slash configure. Now this is kind of like how when we configured in kdevelop, we're going to search the computer to see if it has everything that we need to install the, the software. So I'm going to select enter. And I'm going to let it run its course. It's going to take a few minutes, just like it did in kdevelop. Okay, it configured fine. Now I'm going to type the command make. So I'm going to clear the screen just so we can see. M-A-K-E, the word make. Press enter. Okay, now that make is done, I'm going to clear the screen again. At this point, we're going to make install. Now in order to make install, we have to be logged in as the root user. So I'm going to type SU and then type in the root password. Once you're logged in as root, now you can run the make install command. So we'll type make install. Okay, now we ran make install. So now I can clear the screen. Right now, the software is installed into your Linux system um, and anybody can run it now. So right now, I'm going to type exit. So now I'm no longer root user. Now in order to use this, it doesn't matter what directory I'm in, even though right now I'm in the calc directory, I can do cd space forward slash, which is the file system. Basically I'm in the root, I can do dir, here's all my other files, and I can run the, the command calc, c-a-l-c, and press enter, there. So now our calculator is part of our Linux system and anybody can run it. So I can do 6 times 3. 9 divided by 2. I'm in love with this thing. This thing runs pretty good. And that is a very simple way that you can get people to use your calculator. So I can exit out of the command terminal. And there's one way that you can share this file.